Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Jaguar Nana by C. Prime Equency. This book got my attention through the cover, so I went into it blind. As usual, I didn't really know what to expect, and it took me a while to figure out what was going on. The first chapter, we start of following this couple, a 45-year-old woman and a 25-year-old man. The woman wants to dress well and go places, and the young man wants to take her to the British Council to listen to a lecture. And through this chapter, I was feeling that the woman is really mean and not so and I didn't really get what was going on but I really didn't like her and felt sorry for him. So the second chapter then we get from the young man's point of view and they're at this bar the Tropicana. The Tropicana is central to the novel and, and there we see how things change and then I thought he's taking advantage of the woman and I got confused. A few more chapters and I thought this book is about this codependent abusive relationship between Jaguanana and Freddy Nami. And I'm not sure if that's the point of the novel because at some point Freddy really moved towards the background. So bear with me. The whole book is set in the 1960s in Lagos and we see a lot about the city, about the grittiness of the city, the life of the women who try to make a living and to try to make money to really get by. But we follow this 45-year-old woman who really is not likable. Even though I somehow understood what she was doing and felt with her sometimes, I pitied her at other times, I never really liked her. There is something selfish and vain about her that I really didn't like. At the center of everything that she wants to do is being recognized, looked at. There's a lot of talk about how she dresses up, how she uses her body and how she applies makeup and clothes and the dancing in the Tropicana. There's a lot about that. There's a lot of about the woman, Jaguanana. She's 45, she left her village, came to Lagos. We get a lot of her background towards the end of the book. But most of the book centers around her and her relationship to Freddy and what she wants from it and what she expects from it. But also what she's not willing to give up in her life for it. So the more I read, the more I realized that this book is showing us how this woman is trying to stay independent, to do what she wants, to be free. But also she's kind of hooked onto this young man, Freddy. And it's very interesting to see where the book goes. Their relationship is only part of what's going on. The bigger picture is the life of the woman in Lagos and her background. We see a lot about how life is in Lagos, but we also see the difference between city life and village life. Because at some point she goes to visit her family and Freddie's family and things happening there. And it's very interesting. There's a lot of politics going on in the village politics, but when she comes back, she gets involved with a politician. And we see a lot about an election in Lagos and a lot of background there, but all from her point of view. And she's not the smartest when it comes to politics and everything. It's very interesting. I really enjoyed reading it, although I must admit at some points, because the characters spoke Pigeon English, I had trouble following them. There were some sentences or statements that she made or he made or another character made that I had to read more than once. and. I'm still not sure I understood all the conversations. The narration is in proper perfect English, that's not the problem. But the conversations, because they come from so many regions in Lagos where they meet, that they don't speak the same language and it shows that they all speak in Pidgin English. And I thought that was interesting as well. So we learn a lot about the people living there, we learn a lot about the characters and we learn a lot about the time. And that was very interesting. I still think the character Jaguanana is, she's spiteful, she's mean, she's very selfish and at other times she's very nice and she just wants things that she basically sabotages herself a lot. 
And I don't know, it was a very interesting read, confusing it sometimes, very educational in historic terms about life in Lagos. And also, at some point, I was like, she's just doing what she has to do to live the life she wants to live. And you gotta respect that. So, if you're wondering if you should pick up this book, I definitely say yes. It's interesting, it's confusing, it's very stressful because you just wanna shake the people in there sometimes, but it's also wonderfully written. And that's my thoughts. Very confusing, but that's what the book is as well. Let me know in comments if you have read Jaguanana, if you've heard about it. It's apparently a modern classic, so there you go. Let's talk in comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.